Hello everyone. You join me on a very, very windy Monday. I was a repetition of very, that's a point to me. And I get the subject. Um, you join me on a awfully windy Monday morning. And I am in Minge Bag. And I am off to the Yard of Dreams. Oh no. No, 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 no. Tractor. Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, your thoughts and prayers, please, for the Freelander of Broken Dreams. And so you join me here at a rather wet yard of dreams with my rather wet colleague uh, and friend who, as we can see for some reason, best known to himself, has decided to go for the full Jennifer Aniston in terms of hairstyling. And, you know, we can only presume that this is possibly the first sign of his upcoming <clears throat> well, <laughs> I was thinking more of a transition, but... <laughs> it's just a lop cut. Just basically too long. Just cut a chunk off. That's fine. That'll do. Right. You know me and my style. Did you do it yourself? No, the missus did it. If I'd have done it, it'd be better. And what a wonderful sight to be greeted by. The Hyundai Amica. CDX, thank you very much. Right, let me show you something and uh, I want you to listen carefully. That is the kind of quality door shut action that you're never gonna get on a Rover. It's so cute. So today's task is to get that caravan there. I then bring these other cars out. Well, I've already done more physical work than I have in the last 10 years. We have basically, we hoiked the caravan round uh, manually, by hand. We kind of wanked it between us. 
and we've gone as far as we can go in a manual mode and from now on Fred is going to take back over by the power of Jennifer Aniston I command you well done There you go. Right, we're locked on. Yeah, come on. Oh, you're jackknifing. Straighten up. That's it. Straighten up, straighten up, straighten up. Well done. That's it, go for it and uh, yeah, and you should be able to straight back. <coughs> okay, straight back at that. Well, everything's going uh, according to plan, no, really. Yeah, my plan. And, um, and it is my plan because what the viewers of my video will already have seen is that I'd already mentioned turning the caravan around before you'd even got here, okay? So, fuck off. Anybody can edit retrospectively, can't they? Yeah, but the caravan was over there whilst I was doing it. All oh, right. All right? I'll let you off then. Right, so the plan now is to abandon Roger Botty, perched as he is, halfway down the pleasure chute. And then we've got a Rover 25 to shift, which I don't think will be a problem. I don't know what car that is. I don't remember that one. That's the... Uh... 500 Drake horsepower turbo car. Oh, god, no Drake horsepower, right? Okay, so that's a tugger. Well, of course, it's a tugger, and then there's the ultimate tugger. Tom, the Tom, you've been wanking over his car, <laughs> you'll like that. The ultimate in tugging, he's very northern, isn't he? He's a proper northerner, proper northerner. Yeah. I imagine he, uh, he's the I mean, he's a lovely chap. And I imagine he's the kind of chap who enjoys gravy with a, a vast paraphernalia of culinary items. Oh, he, he what? 
He likes gravy on a lot oh, of shit. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Oh. Have you got any gravy to go on the shredded wheat? He's not a proctologist. He's not a proctologist, but he'll give it a go. Well, you join me now in what was once uh, a Rover 25, and I have been tasked with uh, pointing this vehicle in the right direction whilst being tugged off by Fred the Shed. But um, slight problem with that, quite honestly. Okay, well, I've successfully fitted the collision avoidance disc. <coughs> I'm not looking forward to this bit. He's going to pull me off too fast. I like to be tugged off slowly and carefully. And he's going to go like greased weasel droppings. Right, here we go. Wish me luck. Okay, so the fishy car has been deposited where Roger Botty once was. And Fred the Shed, who is, is now going to take on the somewhat Herculean task of tugging off a 1980s Leyland era Rover Special Development One. Actually, I have to say, <clears throat> no, I won't say that. I won't say that because that will really jinx it. If I'd have said what I was just about to say, that would have well and truly jinxed it. So I'm going to keep my gob shut. You know, good job it's been on a diet, isn't it? I'm now sitting in an... What? Right, here we go. I'm gonna... <laughs> That's got it. You'd better jump in and steer. Oh, right, hang on. Yeah, it's because... Um... No, no, I should have done it the other way around. You know, no, because I turned it over this way. Should I have another go then? Yep. Well... The Rover SD1 3500 SE has been shifted. Doing that. 
It has a bit. Yeah. If I'm honest. It does. If I'm honest, yeah. I mean, he's a he's a willing chap. He is, yeah. It's as if he's aware that you've saved him and he wants to give you his. He's like a faithful old Labrador that's you know got. And yeah, a bad case of terminal flatulence or something. <laughs> but he's desperately trying to do his best with... I mean, basically, I mean, it's not gratitude. He's living in fear. He knows that he's on the verge of being crushed. No, he does. He's living that best life that he never thought would ever possibly happen. Yeah, like me. I'm living my best life at the moment. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is way better than the staff Christmas party. I'd rather have gone into the middle of Nottingham for that. I wouldn't have enjoyed that at all. Right, okay. Can you lunch now? Yeah. Ooh. Which of those two arses do you prefer? You join me at the Gulf of Misguided Purchases. Um, now, I'm not sure if this car has got tractor. I'm not sure if this car has got a name, but I'm gonna give it one. This car is now called, what the fuck were you thinking? Oh, senior mustard. And after a brief interlude where Senior Mustard popped by, we are back at the Gulf of Misguided Purchases. Mustard, well, it, it, it's run out of electricity, by the way. So, I mean, you know, why wouldn't it? It's lacking charisma, charm, desirability. Why wouldn't it lack electricity as well? But Mustard is going to hook up the Top Done JS2000. I am, I have done. He has done. He's now going to fire the mighty engine into life. Park, how it purrs. Still raining. Oh good, it's going to fiddle about with his phone for a bit so I can get just a little bit wetter. That's nice. I've just put my wet coat back on and it's pretty much the bravest thing I've ever done. Now, let's save you for tomorrow. <clears throat> right, there is a potentially exciting development, my lovelies. Um, unexpectedly, at short notice, the first mustard and booty do lunch with somebody better known than us could be taking place in this very caravan on the Wonk tomorrow. Well, yeah, I'd be quite optimistic there because there's a... 
Nothing's confirmed. Nothing is confirmed. I'm sorry, I'm just looking to say you wrote a 75, which is, as you know, my favourite car. <laughs> Yeah, I might dig out the video where you spoke at length about how the Rover 75 was comprehensively beaten in every department by a trans transit tipper truck. That was your car. It was my car, yeah. yeah. And Don't I, take it personally. I accused you of deliberately bashing it because it was my car and you said no. As you just said, no, don't take it personally. Oh, no. They're just shit cars. Well, that one was. <laughs> it wasn't the best one, was it? What was wrong with it? Well, it wasn't the best one. Best one you've ever driven? Fred the Shed. Fuck off. Fred the Shed's an auto. That was an auto, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Fred the Shed's a diesel. So, like that one, then? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Next. Um, Fred the Shed's an SE. Like that one was. Was it? Yeah. Uh, yours was a Connoisseur SE? Yeah. Oh, but it was a facelift, wasn't it? It was. Right, okay. There we go. Knock a point off for that. Oh, God. My feet are so cold. Why? What's up with them? Oh, I wore the wrong shoes. I, I left in a... Oh, fucking hell. I left in a rush. Of, these are my work shoes. So I'm going to have to. Give you it. wasn't anticipating doing any help, was you, when you come down here today? That's what it is. I didn't think it. I haven't really got a pair of yard shoes, no. to be honest. And I kind of panicked. Now, I remembered when I was driving here that I do have a pair of boots that would have been more suitable. But I'd completely forgotten about that. And I wouldn't have been able to drive the car. I'm going to do a video on the what I consider to be the ultimate driving shoe. Okay, let's do that. I mean, I'm not interested in it, but do it anyway. What now? Right. Yeah, go on. Oh, oh, all right. I see. You don't, you don't mean now. You just want to announce it now. Yeah, because I reckon the ultimate driving shoe is the Clark's Momo. No. Don't know it. Right. And why? <clears throat> Narrow. All right. Figure hugging. Figure hugging. Grippy sole. Fine leather upholstery that moulds to the shape of your foot. <sighs> Sounds great. Yeah. Yep. I recommend them. Okay. Comes highly recommended from Bolty Momo. Are we going to employ the Hedgehog of Truth? I forgot about him actually. Hmm. Interesting. And would it be amusing? I shouldn't be recording this. <laughs>